Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Michael and I'm a first year medical student. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about writing letters of intent. And so if you guys aren't quite familiar with a letter of intent, it basically is just telling a school that if they do end up accepting you, that you will commit to going to that school. And so letters of intent aren't for everyone. Basically, if you need to write a letter of intent, it's probably because you are on the wait list at a medical school. And so if you guys aren't familiar Familiar with my story you can click on this link right here but basically I did a special master's program which allowed me to get a medical school interview and ultimately I was put on the wait list at the medical school that I'm currently attending and in this video I'm gonna read you guys the letter of intent that I wrote to this medical school after being interviewed and after being placed on the waiting list. And so essentially letters of intent only really apply to people on the waiting list for medical school or dental school or whatever school you're trying to get into. If you're placed on the waiting list and you really want to go to a particular school, then definitely write them a letter of intent. And so I'll talk more about letters of intent as I go through the video, but basically I'm just gonna be reading my letter of intent, giving you guys some pointers and helping you guys understand what should be included in your letter of intent. So with that being said, let's get right into my letter of intent for Kansas City University School of Medicine. So first off, your letter of intent should not be more than one page. You wanna keep it short and sweet and straight to the point. You wanna start off writing your letter of intent by addressing the admissions committee or the admissions director and you can find the admissions director's name on the website and so if you want to make it a little more personal you can do that but what I did was include the admissions director's name as well as KCU admissions and so for purposes of privacy I'm just gonna block out the name um, for this video but just know that I used first and last name and then Kansas City Admissions. All right, so here we go. My name is Michael Mazur, and I am currently attending the College of Biosciences at Kansas City University. I am writing this letter to supplement my February 15th, 2020 medical school interview at the Joplin campus. So first thing I wanna point out is I'm giving them a sense of who I am, how they know me, and when my interview was. It is my intent to attend medical school and Kansas City University is my first choice. So right off the bat, they know if they accept me, I'm gonna go to Kansas City University because I say it within the first three lines of my letter of intent, which is super important because this is the entire reason that you're writing this letter to the admissions committee. I believe the personal growth I have experienced during my time in the College of Biosciences program and my demonstrated commitment to serving others make me an ideal candidate for admission to Kansas City University College of Medicine. And so as you guys can see, the first paragraph tells them who I am, tells them how they know me. So I did their master's program and I interviewed on that particular day. It tells them that I will go to their medical school if they end up accepting me off of their wait list. And then that last sentence was actually part of their mission statement. And so it shows them that I did a little bit of research in that my goals align with their goals as an institution. All right, so let's continue reading. I owe a lot of my personal growth to the College of Biosciences program, specifically to my professors and the opportunities the college has provided that go beyond the classroom. I chose this program because I knew it would challenge me to improve my knowledge and skills as a physician. My professors not only encouraged me to improve my medical knowledge and skills, they also became some of my most profound champions of my academic success. The professors strive to always make it known that our success is their main priority. There have been times when they have gone out of their way to provide us with extra review sessions before exams or even simple things as remembering our names. With the help and encouragement of the faculty and staff at KCU, I finished with a GPA above the class average during my first semester in the program and I'm currently on track to do even better this semester. If admitted to the Kansas City College of Medicine, I will carry my professor's encouragement and academic success to further improve my medical skills and knowledge. So in this paragraph, you can see that I gave them specific examples of why I want to attend this school. Obviously for me, it was a little bit easier because I've already been attending this school. 
Um, but for you guys, you're going to have to figure out ways to incorporate their mission statement and their goals and how your values align with what they're trying to achieve as an institution. I also gave them a little bit of an insight of how I am as a student. I said I finished with a GPA above the average during the first semester, which was a critical component during the master's program because you had to score a certain GPA in order to get an interview. But I'm just reminding them that I did better than the average. Um, but I didn't go into specific numbers because they already have my GPA and my MCAT. They've already seen that stuff because just remember that this is post interview. So I've already been interviewed. They've already reviewed my application and they already have all of my stats and extracurriculars and stuff like that. So I'm not rewriting my personal statement, which is absolutely essential that you guys understand that this is not a rewrite of my personal statement. And so as we continue reading, you guys are gonna get a better sense of how this differs from a personal statement. My commitment to serving others motivated me to take on extracurricular activities both on campus and in the Kansas City community. In doing so, I embrace and live KCU's mission of being committed to the service of humanity and to the advancement of knowledge. I have learned the reason why the Joplin campus was built was to be able to better serve those who struggle to access medical care. Like my father, I intend on pursuing a career in emergency medicine. So right there, I give them a glimpse of my dad's a physician. I've grown up within the medical world, and I've also told them kind of what type of specialty I want to go into. Now, definitely be careful with that because a lot of DO schools are very family practice oriented. They love producing family medicine physicians. And so I would caution you guys that if you do decide to express which medical specialty you're interested in, um, don't put like neurosurgery or orthopedic surgery. You definitely can, but just know that the majority of physicians coming out of medical school, I think about half of them go into family practice. Um, and so that's why I wasn't too concerned about putting emergency medicine because it's very similar to family practice in that you're dealing with patients and that you're willing to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your patients and you're willing to provide preventative care as well as emergency care. I joined the emergency medicine club on campus to help advance my knowledge and was able to do that by attending an informative lecture by a local emergency room physician, as well as attending an intubation clinic on campus. So if you're gonna actually include that you've been a part of a certain club associated with the specialty you wanna go into, then I would definitely recommend including that in your letter of intent because it shows that you've gotten involved, you've taken an interest in a certain specialty, and you've gone one step further rather than just shadowing. I have been mentoring a local high school student through the HALL program, which stands for Helping Achieve Urban Learning um, program, and I routinely collaborate with the Spanish and Do Care clubs on campus with the goal of connecting them with Liga International, a humanitarian organization providing medical care to underserved communities in Mexico. Over the past four years, I sought many opportunities to provide care to underserved populations. I have been a part of a medical charity called Liga International. As part of that team, I have had the privilege of traveling to Mexico several times where I was used in many capacities while providing free comprehensive medical care to the people of Mexico. Prior to my undergraduate education, I had the honor of serving in Mexico on a humanitarian mission where I was able to learn to speak Spanish fluently. At that time, I could have never guessed that that skill would be essential to serving others and providing the best medical care possible. It would be my absolute honor to incorporate KCU's College of Medicine's global health track into the volunteer work that I already have the opportunity to participate in. So I think the most important part about this paragraph was that I indirectly incorporated aspects of Kansas City School of Medicine. So I mentioned the global health track and how I want to incorporate that into my medical education. And the reason I did that was because I was able to back it up with stuff that I've already done in the past, including some of my extracurricular activities. I mentioned I was a volunteer for Liga International, which by the way, if any of you are interested in doing some international work, um, I'll definitely put the link down to Liga International down below. It's an amazing opportunity for pre-meds like you to get experience in another country and to kind of see how medical care differs 
um, in Mexico versus in the United States. And so if any of you guys are interested in learning more about Liga International and how to get involved, the link will be down in the description below. All right, now to finish off the letter of intent. I believe the personal growth I have experienced during my time in the College of Biosciences program and my demonstrated commitment to serving others make me an ideal candidate for admission to Kansas City University's College of Medicine. It is with my sincerest gratitude that I make it known my intent to complete medical school at Kansas City University. I appreciate the time that has been spent in interviewing me and considering me for this opportunity. Thank you for your time and consideration and I look forward to improving the well-being of the communities we serve. So basically that last paragraph is just thanking the admissions committee for reading this letter, for interviewing me, and for going through this process with me. Um, the last little quote I put is part of their mission statement. So again, reinforcing that I've done my research on the school and it's truly my number one school that I want to attend. And so I put improving the well-being of the communities we serve. And so that just shows them that. And so that's just a last minute reminder to the admissions committee that both their goals and my goals both align and that I would be a good fit for their school. And so as you guys can see, a letter of intent is a little bit different than a personal statement in that you're not really trying to convince them to accept you. You've already met their standards. That's why you were interviewed and that's why you got placed on the wait list instead of being rejected outright because they're still interested in you. And so the letter of intent is just saying that if you guys accept me right now, I'm gonna pay the deposit and I'm going to your school. And so I know this can be a daunting task, writing a letter of intent, because it's kind of your last impression that you're gonna have on them. And so you really wanna make sure that you're writing this really well and getting it edited. And so if you guys need help with writing your letter of intent, definitely shoot me a message on Facebook and I will point you guys in the right direction. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and share it with your pre-med friends. And I will see you guys in the next video.